Over to you, buddy. Thank you. Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video. We're very silly people, aren't we? We are right? we just, not. I'm you surprised we get any anything. filming done. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about woods. Yes. So we're going to do a terrain series. So we're going to start with woods because woods are fun. We've got something for wood. <laughs> what? No, there's a tan thing. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Wood for sheep. There's no sheep. Okay. Yeah, that's no, okay. there's no sheep. So woods. We just plain get wood. So um, the maps that come with this box set has both light, and, well light printed on the maps, but they yep. give you options for heavy woods as well. Yeah, so, so you get little game. counters that you can you can switch add as Which seen we've set on our up here. example here. So uh, we have a little uh, scenario thing set up. Well, it's not a scenario. We just set a couple of mechs up and sort of to, show you how they're going to, show to work. Show you how with it works. Yep. Um, um, so it's a little commando going up against a thunderbolt. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but there he is. Because he's an idiot. Because <laughs> um, he's super, super pumped. Because he's in an example, <laughs> that's, that's why. Right. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. So, basically woods, woods, yeah. Woods come in two sizes, yep. two flavours. You get light woods and you get heavy woods. Light woods is a plus one and heavy woods is a plus two. And that counts for both movement. That is movement and, and firing. Shooting. So it's nice and easy to remember. And it's also um, for line of sight. So if you have three points of woods between you and your target, you can't see it. Yeah. There's three points and over. Yeah. So, and your line of sight is, is through the middle, hex to hex. Um, so if you pass through more than three points of woods, then you cannot see the other side. Yeah. Um, you get your plus one if you're in light woods. Yeah. So if you're standing in woods, that's not considered intervening. Yeah. And that for you, and that and that gives you a bonus so yeah. when your opponent. So you can out. shoot out, but when they shoot in, they get a they get a penalty. Yeah. So occupying a woods hex is is definitely the way to go. It's, you it's can do it. Fairly good idea. Hmm. Um, I mean, we'll we'll eventually get into fire and stuff, and then we'll find out why it's not a good idea. Hmm. But. <laughs> Until then. So in our little example here, um, we'll see who wins initiative, shall we? Let's so, go through the motions. Oh, 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 crap, okay, yep. I was gonna roll them in here. All right, you roll them in there, buddy. So I have yellow for the commando, how's that sound? So we've got a 10 and a seven for the Thunderbolt. So the commando won initiative, so he's gonna So he will get to see where, his opponent, see where his opponent moves first. So yep. Thunderbolt has decided that he likes to look at those heavy woods because he wants some protection. Okay. His armor's not enough. <laughs> so he's gonna- He's move. thinking a lot, isn't he? So he's gonna do a walk. So one, then it costs one to move into a new hex. And then as we mentioned before, plus, plus two, two for heavy woods. So that's it. He has a four, six movement. So his walking is now done. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. So he's he got one, he two, three, four. Move. He didn't move far enough to get any modifier for move it, but uh -huh. he does have plus two for the being in heavy, in heavy woods, woods, which is nice. Okay. So now activate the commando. Um, already he's got a plus two onto whatever he's got on his, on his gunnery, assuming standard gunnery. So he probably doesn't want to move too fast. No. He wants some modifiers, but yeah, considering he's trying to get a bit closer. And, so and these little light woods here are looking pretty good. Yep. because that gets him within short range of his weapons. Yep, So and it gives him a woods there. hex to stand in as well, Correct. which is a plus one for himself. So he's going to cool. choose to walk, all right? So he's on level one. This is all level one. So there nothing goes. for height changes, which is yep. good. So one, one plus one for light woods. Three, four. Yep. So you don't pay to leave. It's You only pay the cost of the new hex that you move into, which we've yep. talked about in the movement. Yeah. The video that we did. So that's as far as he wants to go because he wants to get that cover. So unfortunately, not a movement modifier, <laughs> but Sorry. he does have this. Let's watch that commando get obliterated. Yeah, shall that's, we? <laughs> that's what we all want. Yay! <laughs> Examples. <laughs> so let's have a look at what sort of target modifiers they've generated for one another. Yeah. All right. So commando has SRMs and medium lasers, which all have the same sort of range and things like that. Yep. So three is short range, so that's fine. So four gunnery. I put my little dice here. Tracking. So he's got four gunnery. So four gunnery. He gets nothing for range, so that's good. 
He gets a one for walking. Yep. So that goes to five. And then because the Thunderbolt is standing in heavy woods, he gets another plus two. Two. And so. you can see the sort of difference that makes. So it goes from a five to a seven, just because the Thunderbolt managed to get into a woods hex. Yeah. So, yeah. But if he's if he's planning on not to move, mm. that's that's a good hex to be in. That's he's got not a, a bad permanent one, yeah. plus two from that cover. That's really yeah. really good. So All that's right. him. So let's have a look at the reverse for the Thunderbolt here. So same thing. So four. We use these ones. Oh, okay. So here's the other ones for him. And he walked, so five. He's also with, he has like LRM, and things like that, but yep. he's, yeah, he'll use his medium lasers as well, which would be ideal. So that's short range, so nothing there. And then the commando is standing in a light wood, so he only gets a plus one for that. Yep. So six. Mm. Yeah. So a little bit better for him in that example. He's gonna we'll get see. killed. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> So let's, let's resolve this and see what sort of happens. We'll start with the commando, I think. So the commando needed sevens. We'll just say he's just going to fire two of his medium lasers. There he's going to fire two, nice and simple. We've got a 10 and we've got a five. Ah, uh, see now, if the Thunderbolt hadn't been standing in those woods, it would have hit. Yep, yep, cover is good, cover is life. Cover is keeping you alive, yes. So 50%. So he's only hit with one of those, so that's not a good thing. No. Let's see how the Thunderbolt goes. Yeah. Two mediums back. He only needs sixes. I got an eight and an eight. Oh, so he's hit with both. Yeah, so a little commander who's squishy to begin with he's, is even he's more squishy. Yeah. yeah. Poor little guy. Mm. Always enjoying his company. Yeah. <laughs> But there we go. So look, woods woods are good. They do play a, a quite a big tactical yeah. thing. They're actually quite handy. They can um, they can slow you down quite a bit. You'll see the the thunderbolt and the commando there both could have built up larger modifiers if they weren't moving through woods. Hmm. So it's something to consider is the amount of um, movement loss that you're getting. But stopping, if you can, in a woods hex is a really good move. Yeah. Um, if you can, it's like a lot of the time, like it's pre-planning where you're going to be moving yeah. the next turn as well. Yeah. So especially if you've got a light mech because you want to generate okay. those modifiers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the commando in this example, he probably, I mean, he's trying to engage him and things like that. So yeah. it, it, he did use whatever cover he had. So the, the, the ultimate light mech map would be a huge clear area with little spots of woods, mm. like eight to 12 hexes apart, so that they can zip straight over there and get the maximum modifier and still be in cover. True. Yeah, that would but, be really good. Yeah, but if you've got like lots of woods, so in this example, if you have a look here, there's like quite a few mm. like woods around and things like that. If you've got a lot of movement, you can actually get through those. So yep. if we had this example, if he was trying to get away and he ends up here, You've got one, two, you've got three light woods in the way. So that blocks line of sight. Yeah. If he doesn't want to get shot at, that's... that's and that's a, that's a solid tactic as well. He's, yeah. he's trying to keep three points of um, woods between you and the biggest mech out there when you're in a light mech. Because one of the versions of that commando has less armor on it than a locust. Yeah. So if a thunderbolt <laughs> gets too many heads, you're dead. It's gone, yeah. yeah. But so. woods, woods are good for your, your big slow moving mechs because it gives them a modifier. Yeah, so the ones that don't move fast enough to generate their own movement modifiers, you can put them into heavy woods and light woods and put them behind a few pieces of wood or whatever and just build up a bit of a modifier for mm. it. And that, that can be really, really helpful, especially slow moving stuff like uh, awesomes. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, just to get an, a little bit of an extra edge, especially if you're outnumbered. <laughs> what if you're a, um, like a missile boat mech? So let's say like the catapult. If he can yeah. set himself up yeah. in some cover, if, and if just you sit back, yeah, if you can't fire. indirect fire, then well, even if you are indirect firing, sitting in woods won't hurt. No, especially if those light mechs are coming around and trying to ping at you, and you don't want to move. Uh, as we mentioned in the indirect fire um, thing that we did, um, keeping your missile boat stationary is a good idea. 
Uh, if you have to be stationary and there are lighter, lighter units that are running around, then being stationary in woods is a good move. Yeah. So. It's been a, there has been a few games where I've, I've had a setup like that and I was being threatened by some light mechs. And it's like, oh, if I have to turn, yeah. like it's, still, it's adding modifiers. I still want to do the indirect fire and do the support fire. But I'm adding to my target numbers. Yeah. So if I'm in, I was in the woods, which was really, really good because I sort of took the chance and mm. yeah. So especially if you can get a heavy woods. Yes. Yeah. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. ideal. Um, and like we say, well, with uh, forestry and stuff, you can you can go into all sorts of things um, in the full rules. I mean, this is just what we've got in the basic set. So this is cover and remove. In the full rules, you can set them on fire, you can cut them down, you can get all sorts of cool yeah, stuff you happening. Yeah, clear them away. Um, yeah, because fire generates smoke as yep. well, so that gives you like concealment. It sort of works like yeah. woods. So, so um, fire and smoke aren't in there, but we'll probably do a. A video on them let us know if you want to see it faster but we'll get to it eventually i'm sure hmm. yeah. um but yeah because that's that's a quite a big thing and if you are standing in a, a woods hex that is on fire i'm pretty sure you build up heat so you do yeah, yeah. So, and that's <laughs> that's a cool thing so that was where the fire starter came in is running around the woods and just setting them all on fire and then all those awesomes that are in there taking cover they burn to the ground that's right so you add heat, so if they want to stay there, well, yeah, they'll get the benefit of cover, but yeah, it's going to cost them. <laughs> so yes, but anyway, we'll go into that in more depth later on. Yeah, but that's your woods. Well, that's, that's woods. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Darren. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>